What's up, my people? How you doing? My name is Dalton, and this is my channel. Now, basically, this is going to be a video about the uh, U.S. economy and how it's been downgraded from triple A, AAA, to AA plus, and also why it has happened okay now before i get started i would ask you all to give this video a thumbs up i ask you to subscribe okay and also i welcome your uh respectful comments in the comment box below all right so let's do this all right first of all if you haven't heard you should have heard by now that America's account, uh, credit rating has been dropped from AA plus, I mean from AAA, triple A to AA plus. That's a hard hit. And I believe the person's name is Finch. He is a, him and the other organizations like his are a non-biased organization that views a country's power, uh, economical power, ability to pay back their debts, ability to have a stable uh, government. And one of the main things that has happened is that the Democrats were really upset when they found this out because the Biden administration, as, quote, as well as President Biden, was planning on running one of the main things he was going to run on in 2024 as trying to become president again was stable, a stable economy, okay? And how he has kept a stable economy and helped American people. But, as I've told you many times on my channel, uh, the oh yeah, you might want to turn this up. Anyway, as I told you many times on my channel, the bickering, our government is not the same as it used to be because now it is now, um, it has been invaded by extremists on both ends that literally are willing to let the government shut down to get their point across and get their way. And if you don't know what streamers is, the streamers are my way or the highway. There's no gray area, there's no compromise, there's no working things out. Okay? And some of these extremists are Trumpism, you know, uh, some of them have major racism and sexism. And, uh, and this is mainly on the right. And some of them are even adding Hitlerism, of believing in some of the uh, words and thoughts of Hitler. Okay. And then you have the extremists on the left, you know, uh, that want to make America uh, socialism. They want to push socialism instead of capitalism in the United States. So these extremists, as you've been seeing back and forth, have been bumping heads, especially when it comes to the debt ceiling. Okay? And when they do that, what you may not know is other countries watch us in America. Okay? And they debate if they want to do business with us. Okay? They watch how our Congress act. They watch these extremist movements that are created. They watch policies that are stopped and see if there's new policies created uh, in the wake of those policies that stop and how it affect our economical uh health all right so let me break it down if you're a low-income 
a low, even low middle income, you understand how hard it is to get credit, if it's possible at all, or to get a loan, if possible at all. Okay, why? Because your credit rating dropped so low, or it dropped in which no one wants to take a chance on you. That is what happened to uh, us recently. So we're not even as powerful as Sweden right now when it comes to our economics. And it was such a shock. It was not expected. Okay. And it's also because of the streamers bickering back and forth that has gone on even through Trump administration. Okay. But especially in the Biden administration. Okay. Biden administration had two years, like two, two and a half years to fix a lot of things. And they didn't. What they did do is give tons of money to other countries and and not deal with and not really help establish and help Americans. Okay. And matter of fact, they gave so much equipment to Ukraine, Ukrainian war, that it left us short if we were attacked. Yes. Okay. All of that's taxpayer money. So other countries, other financial institutions is watching this. And we've been bickering and st- still bicker back and forth uh, in our government and threaten to shut it down. You know, threaten to shut down the government, which means they're not going to pay their debts. Okay. But they're constantly, constantly, and have been doing this for years, constantly, constantly, uh, giving away money, especially to uh, other countries and to, uh, I hate to say it, illegal immigrants, okay, but not doing that for their own people in America, okay? Now, I think, in my opinion, the straw that broke the camel's back was when a Biden administration didn't do anything about Title 42 and they let and they're still letting illegal immigrants into the country and feeding them on, on taxpayers money okay and, and plan on keep and wanted to borrow more money from other countries to feed the illegal immigrants that they allow in and keep allowing in without even helping Americans. And Americans are the ones that's paying taxes, you gotta remember, and they're buying goods and consumers. So they're keeping America afloat. And another thing is, Finch, I believe it's Finch, stated that there is a, oh, and also because of January the 6th, okay, 2020, remember, uh, they uh, uh, they tried to throw over our government, that type of chaos, okay, we're unstable, and that very person that was president that is under investigation is still running to be president again, that's Trump, <laughs> so no, the United States is not stable. Also, with their predictions, they said it is guaranteed that we're going to have a mild recession by the end, no later than by the end of 2024. That's around Christmas and Halloween and all that. Okay? And we are now downgraded. Okay? when it comes to our credit and our economics in the United States. And it's just going to get worse, okay? Because uh, the breaking point was, like it or not, Trump may be a racist and maybe a jerk, but his policies around the border 
which uh, Title 42 stopped us from overspending and, and helped us actually help Americans make money. Okay. And once that ended, that, in my opinion, was a straw that broke the camel's back because there was nothing put in place by the Biden administration. And they knew a flood of immigrants was going to come in, which put a strain on the economy and it is still flooding in and still putting a strain on the economy. And they try to ignore it as much as possible, use all their friends and powers to be to focus on anything else except for this huge mess that they have created. Now, visualize this. The dam is not doesn't just have a crack in it. The dam has been destroyed. Okay? And now the flood waters are coming in. And it's gonna constantly cost more and more money. And that is one of the main reasons that we're headed for a recession. The uh, job market is cooling down. It's not hot anymore. That's another sign of a recession. Companies that's not just tech are laying off and will be laying off even more. That's another sign of a recession. And there's a uptick, if you didn't know it, in COVID-19 in the United States. But, and I told you all in the past, look at the summer and the winter in the United States, and that will show you the cracks that cannot be overlooked by putting a little Band-Aid on it, okay? And now you're seeing it. And it just goes down from there, okay? It goes down from there. It goes down before it goes up. All right, I hope this helped uh, explain uh, this credit rating drop that the United States now have that a, a lot of companies are not even trying to talk, a lot of media is not even trying to talk about it, except for maybe Fox News. And like I said, the breaking point was uh, the uh, Biden administration's lack of preparation for when Tino 42 ended. They failed. And now they're paying a price and will continue to pay a price for, ne for the next year, almost a year and a half, until the 2024 20, elections, whether it be uh, a Democrat or Republican that get voted in or an independent, uh, they're going to have to have a solution to the problem that has been created by the Biden administration, all right, or else they're just not going to win it, okay, anyway, I guess I'll wrap to you later, I hope I explained this a little bit better for you, broke it down to you, and I will wrap to y'all later, peace.